I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is January 19th, 2019. And in this video, I'm going to be showing off a 3D printed DNA double helix I designed and put on Thingiverse. Okay, we recently just finished up a Manipulative Monday, which I'll put a link in here to the video we did for that. And in that Manipulative Monday, the challenge was to do DNA. And this is what I came up with, was this double helix is uh, what I designed. Uh, now, I went through a lot of iterations to get this working, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and it happens to be, it's, it's now posted on Thingiverse, it's thing 3351075, and it is pretty cool. I'm having a lot of, had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, one of the really cool things is the main body of this, the double helix, will print without supports, which if you're new to 3D printing, I think it's just cool how 3D prints uh, can do an angle pretty well and, and grow and not have to have supports. But um, anyway, I think it's pretty cool. So with that, let me next go over how to assemble this. What are the parts? How do you kind of print them out? And how do you put it all together? Okay, I kind of want to go over how to assemble it because at the end, you have these pieces like this, the DNA is actually connected to a straw and there's actually a plug on the end. And then when you use them, you kind of put them through there and they snap together. But to assemble them, you're going to end up, if you print these out, you, they print out in several parts, even for the DNA. You have three different printed parts plus a straw. This straw, and I'll put a link to it in the show notes, I bought some on Amazon for $8. I got, I still have a ton left over <laughs> uh, for about 8 bucks. But these are half inch wide straws. So what I did is I tried to design everything so it would print easily on the board up with no supports. So we have these really tiny DNA samples, DNA parts. And it may be hard to show, but it's got a little key on the end. So it all prints nice and flat, and it's got this little key, and that helps it to go into this. So this is what's going to go into the straw and get it stuck. But in here you can see it goes in there, and it's got that little key check kind of in there, so it will stay. So to assemble it, you just got to take that, line it up with the key there, kind of shove it in a little bit, you know, get it started. And then I've been just kind of taking something like a hammer or something and just, in this case, not a hammer, but gently pound it in, get it nice and in there. Then you have this piece. And then you can go, I just pre-cut a piece, but you want to cut the right length. Usually what I was doing is I'd cut them really extra long. Uh, in this case, I cut a short one, but I guess I could I pull a new one out. And then I would just cram it on the end. So cram it on there, it's big enough now, it's not going to come out very easily. And then what I was doing was putting, I'd do two at a time, so I'd put them in here so it would line up in the center as best I could, uh, make sure they connect, leave them, leave them like that, and then I was cutting the end off here. You don't have to, you could actually leave it like this if you want extra long straws, but I decided to do that. Um, and then I also printed out a plug to go on the end. So same kind of design, no key chuck, a little knurled in there a little bit. So I can just push that in there, and then I've got a plug. And so it'll, st it'll go in here and go no further and stop. And if you don't quite get it right, the length, you can take it apart again and cut another straw because the straws are dirt cheap, right? Uh, but then once you have that, you've got something like these two. Oops which I guess I got a little jammed in there. And so you can come in here and put them through and then angle them a little bit and they should, they should snap together and stay together. So that is the idea on how to assemble them. So now with that, let me go to actually printing them and showing you the statistics on them and how much they cost to print. Okay, let's go over the numbers. So there's a few numbers to go to go over. So. To print out this double helix took quite a while. It took 10 hours and 40 minutes, but as you can see in this time-lapse video, there is no need for support. Now, you know, it's not perfect. It's a little, little bumpy on the edge, but it, it works out pretty well. So 10 hours and 40 minutes to print. Uh, it also took 0 0.088 central electricity, and it weighs 0.112 kilograms, and at $20 per kilogram for a roll, this costs $2.24 worth of PLA. Uh, and if you add that to electricity, this costs $2.33 to print. Uh, now for the next piece, uh, these little tiny guys, uh, not, not the end stopper, but just the actual uh, DNA, 
there we go. Yeah, right. Actual DNA piece itself. Uh, to print three of them took 18 minutes. It took 0 0.003 cents with electricity, and it weighs, it's kind of hard to weigh, they're so small. I kind of got 0 0.002 kilograms. That comes out to a total of about four cents to print them all out. So for 12 of these, uh, which is what you would need, it comes out to probably 16 cents to print out. Um, now, the little stopper pieces that this attaches to, um, I printed three of those out in about 31 minutes. It took five cents with electricity. And again, it's hard to weigh. So I kind of weighed 0 0.02 kilograms, 0 0.002 kilograms on that. Uh, which comes out to four cents in PLA material. Now the total on printing out three of those is about five cents. Again, you need about um, 12 of them. So it comes out to 20 cents. Does that sound right? Yeah, four of them. Yeah, costs 20 cents to print out little stoppers. And the last thing you need to print out is uh, the plugs. So these plugs, I printed 12 at a time. Now to print 12 all at once, took two hours and nine minutes. Uh, that took 2.6 cents with electricity. And it weighs 0 0.018 kilograms, which comes up to 30, 36 cents worth of material. So to print 12 of these out is 39 cents. So now if you add all of that together, it comes out to $3.08. But we're missing one component. Now the last component you need is, of course, the straws. Now the straws, if you're only doing a one-off, um, I ordered them from Amazon for $8. Now maybe you can go to the store and get them for cheap, but also I have a lot left over. So if you needed to have more or, you know, you consider you can actually use those straws for something else, the actual number of straws, you, I kind of did a little estimate. Some of the straws in there are pink and you don't want those pink. So there's about 20 that are pink. That means there's about 80 left out of 100. Um, did a little bit of math there. So I need 12. Uh, I'm sorry, back up. So there's 80 left, which I can get probably three out of each straw. I could probably get three uh, good pieces and I need 12. Uh, so I have enough. So all in all, I have enough straws for probably about 20 entire DNA uh, printed out examples that I need for all of them. So there should be enough straws for 20 DNA, but I just do the math, let's call it 16. So um, that comes out to 50 cents worth of straws. So if you add that all, all together, it comes out to $3.58 for the entire project. If you're amortizing, you know, the, uh, is amortize my word? If you're dividing the actual amount of straws you're using. Uh, but really, most of us are going to make one of these. So if you add the actual cost of the straws on Amazon, which is 8 bucks, it actually comes up to $11.08 to make this entire thing. And you just have a bunch of straws left over. But my daughter kind of likes these straws. She keeps stealing them because <laughs> they're big and fun to, they're fun to drink milk out of for some reason. Um, so there you go. So and, all, and the next thing, if you add all the total print times up, and you adjust the print times for making 12 versus the three uh, and those, the total print time to print everything out for the entire thing comes out to about 16 hours and five minutes. So 16 hours and five minutes, $3.58 to print the whole thing. Um, not bad. So I'm pretty happy about it. So hopefully people out there uh, like it, download it, use it. And if you have any opinions on it, if you actually print one of these out and you have some ideas to improve it, uh, or you might want to see some different aspects of it, you know, tell me because I'd rather have, I'd rather build upon it a little bit uh, because it'd be nice to have a good DNA sample out there for on Thingiverse for people to use in the classroom. So anyway, um, cool. Hope, I help. Yeah. I hope some people find this print useful in their classroom. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.